In last week's video, we covered the integrations between Sublime Text and Sublime Merge. And near the end of the video, I pointed out some key bindings that you could use so that you don't have to go to the command palette or the menus to be able to get at those integrations. But where did I actually get those commands from in order to put them in the key binding? Well, in today's video, we're going to show you various ways you can find out that sort of information. Hello fellow Sublime Text fanatics, Odat Nerd here. Welcome to this video on figuring out what commands you need for your customizations of Sublime Text. Before we get to that though, are you finding these videos in any way helpful, useful, informative? If so, I'd love to know about it, so please use those buttons down below the video to thumb, subscribe, and share as you deem appropriate. And if you need something explained a little bit better, if I didn't do a good job, if you have any other questions or comments or suggestions for other topics you'd like me to cover in a future video, you can leave those down in the comment section below, and you can also hit me on Twitter at Odat Nerd as well. Now, here on the screen, we have the key bindings as we saw at the end of the previous video on the integration between Sublime Text and Sublime Merge. And I showed you could bind these commands to keys of whatever keys that you want to be able to open the current repository, find the folder and line history, and uh, things of that nature. And if you're unfamiliar with what these actually are, you can watch the previous video so that you can see that. But as I said in that video, these commands don't have default key bindings. So how did I know what commands need? Need to go here uh, inside of these key bindings in order to bind these. And this isn't related strictly just to the integrations between Sublime Text and Sublime Merge because often you have the question of, I want to create a key binding to do something that I can do elsewhere in Sublime. How do I know what command to use for it? And to a degree, this also applies to situations like I have a command that I would like to add to the command palette or I have commands I'd like to add to the menus and things of that nature. And you need to know what commands are. Now, the full specifics of modifying the menu or the command palette, that's something we're going to cover in an upcoming video uh, in the future on the channel, so I'm not going to go into that here, but this information does come in handy uh, for key bindings and for those purposes as well. Perhaps the easiest way to find this information is to use Sublime's built-in command logging. And to do that, you would go to the View menu and choose the Show Console command. Or as we can see here, you can press Control Backtick, which is the same across Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. And that opens at the bottom of the window, Sublime's console. And once that's open, you can type sublime.log commands true, like so. And now that we've done that, Sublime's going to log commands and their arguments to the command uh, to the console, rather, sorry, when you execute those commands. So now we just need to do take a, an action that we want to bind a key to. So say, for example, we have uh, this file open that's tracked by Git, and we want to know what key binding you use to open the current file in the Git repository. You would find that command and execute it. Say, for example, from the command, uh, context menu, I can open the context menu, choose open Git repository, and there's the repository open in Sublime Merge, and then we switch back to Sublime, and we can see down in the console, two commands have been logged. The first is context menu. That's the command that gets executed to tell Sublime to open the context menu. And the other is Sublime Merge open repo. So that's the name of the command, and that's how I got the one for the first key binding up there at the top of the file. What follows after that, if there are arguments, will be the arguments wrapped inside of the uh, brace characters, as you would expect when you look at your key bindings files. And that would tell you if a command requires specific arguments, what arguments those are. Now here in this case, uh, the argument, a single argument that this command gets is an event arg. That's a specific argument that's given to commands when they specifically ask for it. Sublime tells them where in the window the mouse was. That's why, uh, that because that was in the context menu, that command is given there. But the position of the cursor in the window doesn't really apply to whether or not it can open this uh, this command. So that's nothing you need to worry about for yourself. You can just leave that argument off, which is why we did that here. But now we can see up here in the top of the file, if I go down a couple of lines or up a couple of lines or to the left or to the right, we can see the commands that do that being logged. So we can see that to go down through the line, you, all of these commands use the move command and they take arguments of by that says which uh, direction or how to move, like by lines or by characters and whether it should be forward or backward. And if you hold down the shift key when you do it, you can see the same thing happens. Now we know if you want to move left and extend the selection to the left, you also include an extend true argument in there as well. So if there are already keys that you can press, 
to execute a particular command and you would like to know what command they're executing and how so you can bind it, this is a way that you could do something like that. Uh, if there's an item in a menu somewhere that you would like to add a key binding for, you can use this as well. Now, where this falls down is in the command palette. Sublime used to log all commands in the command palette to the console. That is no longer uh, happening. It's unclear at the moment whether that's intended or uh, unintended side effect of the changes that have been made fairly recently to the command palette, in particular its ability to have commands that give you input in there. When that was added, round about the time command logging stopped uh, for this case. But there's still a way to find that information as well. Before we get into that though, note that the uh, command logging here remains turned on until uh, you quit Sublime or until you go back to the console and use sublime.log commands false like so. And now command logging is turned off. Now for commands that only appear in the command palette, you can't use the command logging because Sublime currently uh, won't print it. That may of course change in the future. But you can also use introspection of the actual resources that add items to the command palette and to other places in order to find the commands and arguments that you need as well. And the gateway to using all of those is the view package file command, which we've seen in a lot of videos on the channel up to now. When you execute that command, it shows you a list of every package resource file in every package that's not currently ignored by Sublime. The file names that appear in here start with the name of the package and then the resource comes from there. Now there's three things that you could be interested in in here. The first is Sublime key map files like so. This shows you all of the key map files for that are providing default key bindings. Normally you wouldn't really look at these. If you want to copy a key binding, uh, you could go to preferences key bindings. That opens a window. You can see the default bindings on the left. Uh, packages that define their own key bindings usually have an item under preferences package settings for that particular package to allow you to see the key bindings that, that they add. But some packages don't provide that. And we can see here, for example, the C++ plus uh, package that ships with Sublime has a key map that is part of that package. And we could open that and we could see that there are specific key bindings that only apply to C++ files for uh, doing various things. So if you wanted to know what those are uh, for packages like that, that is something you could do there. If there's a command that appears in the command palette, then you might want to be able to figure that out. Again, we would use view package file for that. It, the resource files that, inc that include commands in the command palette are sublime commands files like so. And there's usually fewer of, of these than there are of other things. And again, we see the name of the package, then the name of the file. The name of the file doesn't matter as long as it's sublime commands file. So here you need to know roughly what package is providing the command that you want to bind. The default package is where all the default items that ship with Sublime are located. Here we can see origami adds some commands to the command palette. Package control adds some commands to the command palette and so on. So in the case of Sublime Merge, if we wanted to know which uh, our commands in the command palette were related to those uh, integration commands, you would use the sublime commands file from the default package and we open it up now we can see the structure of this file is very simple it's just a list of things that has the caption that is the text that appears in the command palette and then the command and potential arguments uh, that includes so if we were to open the find panel and search for something that you know appears in the caption text of an item that I say is for example sublime merge like so we can see those commands there and that's where all of those four four of those five, rather I should say, commands from the previous video uh, came from. The one that's not listed here though is the line history one because as you recall from the previous video that's only available in the context menu of files that are tracked by git. It's not available in the command palette. So you could get that by using the log uh, command that we saw previously, but you can also do that by using view package file and looking in the menu resource. And here the file type you want is sublime menu like so. And here there are a few different things to take into account. First, a package can include more than one menu and 
here the file name is important. It still has to have an extension of Sublime Menu so that Sublime knows it's a menu file of some sort and can process it. But the name of the file is specifically important. Uh, for example, main.sublime menu is the main menu of the application, whereas indentation.sublime menu is the menu that you get when you click on the status bar where it says, you know, spaces for or tabs for or what whatever. And the context menu is the menu that appears for the context menu in a file. So we could open that and we can clearly see here there are four of the five commands here. We can see the file history, line history, blame file, and open git repository. Here the one that's missing is the folder history one. To get that one you need to use command logging or look in the uh, command uh, palette file as we just saw. And to put this in context with the previous video, the menus that appear on folders and files in the sidebar are sidebar.sublime menu and sidebar mount point.sublime menu. So if you wanted to, you could look at both of those as well. So there we have the ways that you can get at the command that you need to create your own customized key binding. Now you can go forth and find all those commands that you use very regularly that don't have their own keys and make yourself even more proficient in Sublime. I hope you found this useful and helpful. If you have, please use those buttons down below the video to thumb subscribe and share as you deem appropriate. And uh, as always, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions for other Sublime Text topics you'd like me to cover in a future video, you can leave those down in the comments section below. You can also hit me on Twitter at ODATNerd. But until the next video, this is ODATNerd asking you to please have a sublime day.